welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new, my name is Ashley and I'm very excited to have you today. Basically, I'm doing a stay at home mom cleaning video. <laughs> so here's the deal. Chase is gone at work, Savannah is gone to her grandma's and I have about two hours to get as much done as possible. I love cleaning when no one's here. I guess I just feel less guilty. I can get a ton done because I'm not like, hey mom, watch this or hey Ashley, can you help me do that? It's just like, direct cleaning, no interruptions, minus two crazy dogs. I'm sure you'll see that happening. But other than those two dogs, it is just me here and I need to get this whole list done before they get home. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. I'm gonna start off in my laundry room and I need to switch some loads over just so I can keep this going. I did wanna mention that I know some of you guys like love these chatty voiceover cleaning videos and then some of you just like a lot of music. So in today's video, I'm just gonna to try to break it up with a little bit of both. So I'll be talking and playing long clips of music. So I hope everyone enjoys today's video. You can see I just pulled out a lot of Savannah's bedding. I worked on her sheets yesterday and today I'm working on like her comforters. So you're gonna see me working on those. I did just show you my fabric softener. I bought it from Sam's and I am loving it. It was only like seven bucks for that huge container. I wanna say it's like 196 loads. Completely in love with it. It beats my downy for sure. And then I'm gonna show you my laundry detergent. I'm using this Tide, but as soon as I'm done, I bought the Sam's version of the detergent as well, so I cannot wait to use up this Tide so I can try out that new detergent. Shiver inside doesn't show, but my nerves are inside out. It's because you're not worth less than perfection. Ooh, thought it was in my pants now. Now I'm gonna head into Savannah's room with the clean bedding so I can get her bed made. She is currently not home right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get her room and even her playroom picked up and her bed made. I just feel like it's such a good feeling to come into a clean space. I know I love that. Um, and I know she enjoys that. My mom used to do it for me, so I don't mind doing it for her occasionally. Um, her sheets are clean. I know I mentioned that in the beginning, just so you know. I did the sheets the day before, and then I did her comforter, and I still have her other comforter in the washer and dryer as well, and I'll put that on later. But her rooms have pretty much picked up. There wasn't much. You'll see me here in a little bit, pick up her laundry, and then vacuum, but it didn't take much time to get her room finished. To say, oh baby, what I am trying to do is let you know that when you touch my hand, it all goes away. The things I plan, the things I would say, now I keep rambling on. I sound so cliche. What I am trying to do is say I love you and all the things that you do. I'm so in love. And here is a final look at how her bedroom turned out. It's just nice and clean and tidy. It's just so nice to come home to. Now I'm going to head into her playroom and she does clean up this room almost every single time, but I like to occasionally just give her a break and put a few things away. She actually cleans this room better than me because I'll just kind of throw stuff together. Like you'll see me put a lot of the extra stuff that I don't know where it goes into that pink bin where she'll actually organize it and put it away. But I do like to go in here sometimes and just put the big items away and I know where they go just so it's fresh and clean when she comes home. I 
still remember those things you did. Yeah, they still linger, still hurt a bit. Might hurt forever. Yeah, that's what they say. But I know I'll never will face that day. I wanted space, you wanted trouble. You hurt me once, the pain was double. I like to shake this rug out before I vacuum in here because you never know what you're gonna find in it. It is so thick and fluffy. Um, I love the texture it adds to the room, but with all her little tiny little doll pieces and hair pieces, there's always stuff trapped in it. And then you can see I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the floor real fast. But I was younger, didn't know love when you broke my heart. A final look of the playroom I like to show you guys an after sometimes I just think it's really rewarding to see like a dirty room and then a clean room now I'm gonna head into the bathrooms you guys haven't seen me clean the bathrooms in a while and a lot of you have been asking for me to show it I will say I never show cleaning the toilet I think I did in the very beginning but it's just not something I enjoy watching other people do so I don't put it on my channel but you will see me just go ahead and clean my countertops and wipe down the cabinets sometimes the mirrors just kind of the main little gist right now I'm using this like um, e-cloth sponge they had sent it to me and I hadn't used it lately but I really did like it it's um, a sponge that just dries out quickly so it lasts longer and it's just kind of self-cleaning so I have been using that in here at this sink Just in case you're wondering, all the cleaning products that I'm using to clean the bathroom is all from the Dollar Tree. I feel like they have really good products. I know they're not like non-toxic, but in the bathroom, I just don't mind. I just want to get it clean and I just feel like it's a cheap way and then all my products can be in each bathroom. So when I need to clean, it's in there and ready to go. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. And here is the final look at how our bathroom turned out. This is like our guest bathroom slash Savannah's bathroom.
Okay, so I have that whole side of the house done. I kind of call that Savannah's a wing, and then we'll head over to ours, just so you kind of have a time check. I know some of you guys like hearing. It's two o'clock, so it's in 30 minutes. So in 30 minutes, I got her room picked up, the playroom picked up, and the bathroom all wiped down, plus all the spaces are vacuumed. So and now let's head over to the other side of the house. Okay, now I'm gonna work in my beauty room, and as you can see, things are just out of place. They need to be put away. Um, stuff down here has been messed with with school and then all of this needs to be wiped down my screen is filthy again if you can see there just from Savannah doing homeschool um, my closet isn't that bad so there's not a ton to do in here I'll probably do a quick wipe down in my bathroom as well so let's get to working in here I'm gonna start off just by putting a few things away that are out on it and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down I've been using my Jaws hardwood cleaner on this piece um, I want to say it cleans up really well. It's white and I wear like a liquid foundation so it always has like some sort of fingerprints and makeup on it but it does wipe down super easy so it's three pieces from Ikea. I always get a ton of questions so it's the top and then each of the drawers is a piece. Um, my vanity light itself I get tons of questions about. I bought it off Etsy like five or six years ago but I will say Amazon has them cheaper now so I have one in my Amazon store if you just want to click on the link below in my description box. Okay, now I'm gonna take that same Jaws window cleaner that I was using to clean off my mirror, to clean off my desk now, and I have an e-cloth rag. Um, I typically have these in blue, but this is actually like the car version of it, but I use it inside too, just cause I go through them so much, and I absolutely love this, like paired with a window cleaner. Um, and so I'm wiping it down. If my office looks a little bit different, in my last few videos I had rearranged it, this was filmed right before I rearranged it, so it currently is the other way, <laughs> but I filmed this and then as soon as Chase got home, I had him help me rearrange it a little bit. So, you're not seeing things. It didn't go back this way. It's just, this was pre-filmed. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna head into my bathroom and this is just attached to my beauty room slash office and I'm just gonna do a quick wipe down like I did in my other bathroom. So I just like to come in, I use my Dollar Tree like sink spray, I wipe it out with a Dollar Tree sponge, um, I dry it off, I use my Lysol wipes and then I like to clean off my mirror. I kind of do that once or twice a week just so our bathrooms stay clean and then I'm not doing like a really deep clean. And then as far as my toilets go, I typically just clean those once a week on a separate day that I don't have much to do. When I find myself like not busy, I'll just run in, clean all three toilets, and just know they're done for the week.
Once I'm finished in the bathroom, I'm just gonna grab my vacuum and head in there and go ahead and vacuum the floors. And then I'm gonna work on my carpet and my beauty room just so everything's nice and fresh. So sometimes I vacuum when I'm finished with the room and sometimes I wait until the very end and I vacuum the entire house at the same time. Let me know down below in the description box, how do you vacuum? Do you vacuum each room as you clean it or do you vacuum all at once at the very end? I wanna know how you guys clean. how my bathroom turned out after cleaning it and then my beauty room as well. Okay, now I'm gonna head into our master bedroom. It's not that bad. I had already made the bed. I had to put up some shoes of Chase's. I did adjust the bedding a little bit because George kept jumping up there and I just like it like nice and tight. I don't want like the footprints on it. So I went ahead and adjusted that. I needed to put up a sign, but other than that, my room was pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that sign away and then head into our bathroom to get it clean. was a believer sometimes I can feel her arms holding me as forever time changes everything and everything will change in time love changes every heart and any heart can change you and just a reminder, I'm still using those same Dollar Tree products. Like I said, I keep them in each bathroom. We have three bathrooms, so I just find it's much more affordable so that I can have them under each sink because if I have the cleaning products right there, I'll tidy up quickly sometimes versus if I had to actually like go get the products out of another bathroom. Okay, so while I'm trying to clean, there's George and Tiger. This is my lovely tripod stand right now. I'm too lazy to pull out the tripod, so I'm just moving my bar still around. Hi, uh -uh, George. I see you chewing. I see you. <laughs> As you can see, I have those two gold candlesticks over there by my TV. I'm thinking about adding gold to this room. I haven't decided if I want to yet, if I'm all in. So I just brought those in there for now while I'm trying to decide. I feel like that's a good way just to test something out. So buy something small or use something you already have to be like, do I like it in here? Leave it in there for a few days and just kind of see before you go like all in and start buying new decor. Okay, now I'm finished with that side of the house. <laughs> Now it's on to like the living quarters of the house. So the living, the dining, the kitchen. 
And as you can see, it is not perfect. <laughs> Okay, so George has a whole basket of toys. I know a lot of you guys were concerned saying he's chewing on stuff because he doesn't have toys. He has a whole basket that he plays with and I'm all constantly picking up his toys and I'll go put them in his basket. And I've definitely met my match when it comes to him because I like things clean and tidy and he does not like his toys in the basket. You'll see him come in and he picks them back up and he will take them back into the living room like two at a time. I think it's so funny. Good thing he is so cute. Um, you guys saw me earlier, I dropped this laundry basket in here and I hadn't folded the items yet, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. Okay, it's gonna feel like deja vu because I'm heading back into my living room to clean that I just picked up. So I'm picking up his toys and the stuffing. I swear I do this probably 20 times a day. Good thing he is so stinking cute because he is keeping me on my toes. And then I'm gonna head over to my list and just kind of check and make sure I'm doing everything I'm supposed to and I haven't forgot anything. And then I'm gonna head into my kitchen to work on some stuff in there. Don't you know that you're Once I'm done cleaning out my sink and drying it out, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Jaws cleaner to clean off my countertops. I do this constantly. Um, if any of you guys are in the market for Jaws products or need refills, I have the link down below in my description box and I still have that 20% off so I want to let you guys know if you guys need it. I don't know if you guys have noticed in my last couple videos, but I have rearranged this table decor just a little bit, but I'm really loving the snake plant in there. Um, that's my second one. I just could have those all over my house. And then I have the candlesticks in there with the pumpkins, but I'm really liking that setup. I feel like it's bold, but simple, but I did take down like my thankful sign um, on my shutters. I just wasn't digging it this year and it was just starting to make me feel crazy. So I took that down. Um, as you can see right now, I'm just wiping down our coffee table. We eat at it a lot. So I just like to wipe it down often.
So George cracks me up in this scene because he is either rambunctious when he's awake and like attacking the vacuum, but if he is asleep, he does not budge. I can vacuum around him, I can mop around him, we can eat, and he does not move for any reason. And you guys are gonna see throughout this scene, like I kept changing angles, I kept moving the camera, and he never moved once. <laughs> I'm gonna finish up by mopping and I just use my e-cloth mop it's super easy super fast and I feel like I have to mop so much not only because we have two dogs and George brings in a lot but my floors are just that shiny dark hardwood floor which is gorgeous when they're clean but they don't stay that way I highly suggest you not getting that shiny film on dark wood if you guys are like remodeling or buying a house or building just let me save you a lot of time and don't get my wood floors even though they do look pretty but once they're clean it's gorgeous I'm gonna show you an after right here so you can see how the house turned out okay guys that's a wrap I hope you guys got some cleaning motivation it feels so good to have everything done it's a little past three so I actually finished a few minutes early so I'm gonna go ahead and sit on that sofa and watch a TV show and just take a break until my family gets home don't forget we have a new vlog channel I'll leave it linked down below in my description box and then it'll also come up on my end screen and if you see the picture of me and Chase you can click on that and it'll subscribe you it's for everything that's casual and not cleaning related so vlogs finance get ready all that fun stuff so make sure you're subscribed over there and here and I'll see you guys in the next one bye